monster producer is a legendary creature who combines multiple skill sets to dominate their market. Are you ready to dominate? I believe everybody needs a good coach in life. Running a business can be tough. It can beat you down. We bring the motivation. We bring the structure. We bring the strategy. How do you explain your services? How do you work a selling system? How do you follow up like a machine? How do you extract 5.7 referrals from every transaction? Our number one goal is to get you a 43% increase in your business. And I want to show you how to be a monster producer. I must confess that I feel like a monster. Prepare yourself for a 43% increase to your business. I feel like a monster. Monster producer. Ladies and gentlemen. Begins now. Hey, I'm Coach Michael Burt, the Super Coach. And every month I get the privilege of teaching uh, monster producers to the Monster Nation. And every month I come up with a concept that I truly believe is going to change the game for you. I mean, I truly believe it will change everything for you. And this subject that I covered this month may be one of the best subjects that I've ever taught in my life. It deeply changed me, and it's helped me so much to think about my interactions with other people, how I make them feel. Do they want to fight for me when we're doing it or fight against me when we're done, right? So this topic is how to handle monster conflict. And what I want to give you is a proven system for handling disagreement and opposition. I want to give you a proven system for handling disagreement and opposition. So let's just look at it like this. When you're thinking about selling something, selling is presenting an idea to another person that solves a problem for monetization. Selling is presenting an idea. Now, as you present ideas and you push harder, you're going to meet opposition. Like this is just normal. Like, like, we, like I, I, I never had any conflict. I tell people when I had six customers. <laughs> I didn't have any conflict. I only had conflict when I had a thousand customers, okay? Conflict is gonna happen because of opposition of thought. Objection equals opposition of thought. Think about that conflict between you and employee, you and your significant other or spouse, you and your kids, and I'm gonna show you where that conflict comes from. What about internal conflict? What, what about the conflict you experience about where you are versus where you think you should be? The talent you have versus what you're actually doing? The money you're making versus what you should be making? Think about all this internal conflict. Insecurity, lack of belief, vacillation, doubt, fear. This is all internal conflict that we have. So really what we're trying to help you with this month is I believe you need a mental model in how to handle that opposition that uses conflict as fuel. So as we go throughout this course, I want you to remember a few things in your brain. Conflict is absolutely necessary for expansion. Conflict is the fuel you need. See, I always thought that desire... Our emotion came from desire. I've actually come to believe that the most emotion we have, we're emotionally charged after we have conflict. Like it is actually the conflict that creates the emotion that you need to go do big things. Think about every big thing that's been created in the world. Okay, why was it created? Because somebody somewhere had a problem, went through a traumatic experience, and they wanted to change it for everybody else. Like they wanted to change their life and help other people change their life, right? So what is conflict? Here's the definition. Disagreement, in opposition, incompatible, divergent, at odds. Notice this one. Not in accord with beliefs. Now, we have pounded in your brain this concept of explanation of service. Here's, what, here's how I want to say this. Do you believe that people do business with other people that believe the same things they do? Every conflict we have is because you have a set of beliefs and somebody else has a different set of beliefs. Therefore, it is very critical to get clear on what you believe so you are attracting other people that believe the same things you do. This is very critical. So what we need is we need a new look, a new way to look at an old problem. I call it vuja <laughs> day. Deja vu, okay? Deja vu is where we feel comfortable and familiar with the problem, right? Like we've seen this before. Vuja day is we bring a new look to an old way of doing business. Like we bring a fresh perspective to an old way of thinking. So here's some examples of conflict. Relationships with other people, faith, dreams, partners, work. So I want you to stop right now and I want you to write down three areas of significant conflict that you're experiencing right now. Three areas of significant conflict that you're experiencing 
right now. And when we come back, I'm going to show you that conflict comes from one word. Welcome back, monster producers. You know what a monster producer is, don't you? It's a legendary creature that combines multiple skills to dominate a market. Inside the mind of a monster is my philosophy. You read this book, you, you, this is gonna help you. If you're living with a monster, this book is gonna help you, okay? This is two very popular things you need. Today we're breaking down this concept of conflict that I've been teaching every month. And man, after teaching it for a month, I have come to realize conflict is so necessary for expansion. It ain't fun, it ain't pretty, it ain't comfortable, but it is where the real fuel comes from to do something big on planet Earth. Let's think of conflict as creative tension. It's just tension. And sometimes, how many times in our life do we need that tension? to move, to operate, to go to a higher frequency. Like, like I really believe we need this a lot. So I, so I want you to think that conflict is good for expansion. It is where emotion comes from. It is necessary for you to grow. And after conflict, after conflict, you are gonna have so much more dimension to you. So much more to offer the world. I remember when I was studying this, and I saw conflict as, oh, it's a bad thing. Like the first place I went was, was in the Bible. And I went to Luke 12, 12, and Jesus is talking to two brothers. And one brother says, hey, will you tell my brother that he should share the inheritance with me? And Jesus steps in and says, um, it's not my business to solve your family's business. I'm thinking, okay, well, that's, that's I, what am I supposed to do with this? Like it ain't my business to get involved in your business, okay? And then it goes into guard your heart, what's your desires, earthly things. Then it goes into the farmer who had to bumper crops and wanted to build a bigger barn to hold all of his crops. Then it gets into worldly possession. Then it gets in, don't be anxious for anything. And here's the connection I kept making. Most of our anxiety in life happens as a result of conflict. But we're not supposed to be anxious for anything. We're anxious to confront conflict. We're anxious to deal with it. We're anxious to have to address another person. We're anxious for what people think about us. We're anxious for rejection. We're anxious about money. All of this creates conflict. So where does that conflict come from? It comes from one place, desire. It comes from desire. There, and, and there's three things I want you to think of. Think of it this way. I have a desire to do something, accomplish something, win something. So I have a desire to go from where I am to where I would like to be. I think you are standing in between me and that desire. And anytime I think a person is standing in between where I am and where I want to go, that creates conflict. So three big desires. Desire to achieve something. So, so just remember this. Win, retrieve, achieve status. Okay. Most people have a desire to heal a wound from the past. So most of our desire is associated with something from our past. Like we're trying to prove something to someone. We're trying to become known or recognized. We're trying to be somebody in the world. We're trying to solve something. Like we have a desire to heal something from our past. And the third thing is a desire for status. People move toward uh, things that increase their status. They move away from things that decrease their status. They move toward things that increase their status. They move away from things. So think of it like this. Uh, think about a movie. A movie has a character, and that character is a victim. They're in jeopardy, they're likable, they're funny, or they're powerful. You're one of these five people, okay? You ha that character has a desire. Win something, retrieve something, escape something, stop something. When that character goes out into the world on the journey of achievement, they actually meet conflict. Now, how good would a movie be if there's no conflict? The conflict is where the drama comes in. The conflict is where the journey of transformation happens. The conflict is where the journey of achievement happens. It's called the hero's two journeys, if you ever want to study this. Pretty fascinating concept. So think of you. You're the character. You're a victim. You're in jeopardy. You're likable. You're funny. Are you powerful? You got a desire for something. Win. Win what? Win status. Win fame. Win money. Win competition. Gain prestige. All towards status, by the way. 
or you got a desire to go retrieve something and bring it back. You're trying to escape something or you're trying to stop something. So I want you to stop right now and I want you to ask yourself, number one, what wound are you trying to heal from your past? Number two, what is your desire? Win something, retrieve something, escape something, or stop something bad from happening? Take a few minutes and unpack those things. Hey guys, my new book, Inside the Mind of a Monster, is really high performance habits of some of the best people that I've coached. But more importantly, it gives you a step-by-step -step blueprint of how to be a monster producer, how to produce at the highest frequency, how to produce at the highest level. I walk you step-by-step -step how, how to explain the services, how to work the selling system, how to follow up, how to generate referrals, how to become a person of interest, ultimately how to build a monster enterprise. That's the purpose of the new book, Inside the Mind of a Monster, because I want to go inside the mind of the people who produce at the highest frequency, and I want to show you how to do it. You can pick up a copy of that book at Coach Burt. Dot com. Welcome back to Monster Producer. This is a little breakdown of the class I've been teaching this month for all my little ADHD people in the world. I know you can't stick around for an hour and 15 minutes for the class or you didn't come to class. So I put this in my online academy and really to really learn, have me coach you every day, you need to be in the online academy because that is where you can learn from me every single day. It's updated weekly with new content. Jack puts the super coaches up there. He puts live events up there. He puts, I mean, it's, it's, ridic it's, it's ridiculous how much content we have in the online academy. Like I watch it and, and I'm even floored by how much is in there. So I'm committed to putting new content up there. So if you're in the online academy, thank you for watching this. Emotion as fuel. Today we're talking conflict the benefits of conflict. Most people have a fear of conflict. This course has actually taught me that conflict is necessary for expansion. It is where the good stuff comes from. It is what gives you something valuable to say in the world. Don't be afraid of this conflict. So, so here's the deal. Emotion doesn't come from desire, which is what I always thought. It actually comes from conflict. Therefore, we cannot elicit an emotion without conflict. We need conflict to create emotion and emotion to create transformation. So let me give you the turning points of, tr of the turning points of conflict. Number one, somebody presents a new opportunity to you. And when you're presenting an opportunity, you need to present it as a game-changing opportunity. Number two, you start going down this path only to figure out that there is a change of plans. Your original desire turns into something very specific. Number three, there is a point of no return. It's no longer a should, it's a must. It's no longer a should, I, I should do this, it's I gotta do it. I absolutely have to do this. Number four, there's a major setback. There's perceived to be no way out. Number five, there's the climax. There's transformation, the hero's two journeys. The journey of achievement, which is what you see, the journey of transformation. Now, I can show you I could show you example after example of this, of how someone presented a new opportunity to me. We got going down the path only to have a change of plans. The original desire turned into a specific goal. I can show you where we hit a point of no return, which means we're not going back, we're going forward. I can show you a major setback we had, and I can show you the climax. This is what's called the turning points of conflict. Okay, so I want you to ask yourself right now, what is a point of no return that you're at? What is one thing right now that you feel like it's not you should do it, you got to do it. You must do it, okay? Now, let's look at how you handle conflict because conflict is necessary for expansion. How do you monetize conflict? Number one, you see a problem that you face that causes you tremendous grief. You see a problem that you faced in your life. Like, like we've been talking about teacher transition. I really believe that Chelsea and I should be doing workshops and conferences and retreats on teacher transition because I see so many teachers that have lost their passion and drive for teaching, but they're talented, but they don't know what to do, and they haven't found their voice, and they don't have the confidence to leave. Like, like I want you to be a teacher if you want to be a teacher, but, but, but I see a problem that I faced. Did it cause me tremendous grief? No. 
didn't cause me tremendous grief, but, but it was a problem for me because I was a level 10 person in what I felt like was a level 4 opportunity. I want you to see where other people struggle with the same problem you struggle with. I want you to create a model that you use, which means to codify. This book is a codification, if that's a word. I codified my mindset. This book is, my, this, this book is how I codified science, uh, the science of confidence. This book is how I codified how to become a person of interest. This book is how I codified how to follow up. I'm writing a book right now called Single Digit Millionaire and how to get the double digits. That's how I codified my, my journey of uh, a transformation from a high school basketball coach to where I am today to how I'm getting to the next level. Okay, so, so this is how you monetize conflict. You have a problem. You create a solution to the problem. You sell the solution to other people. Right? You sell the solution to other people. Jack, our videographer, had a problem. What is it, a breathing problem? Allergy problem? Some kind of problem? Went to the salt, salt place, salt cave, whatever it was. No salt caves. Salt rooms. Salt rooms. I don't like the caves either, Jack. <laughs> then he said, look, I can reproduce this to help other people solve their problems. Everybody see that? Without the conflict and the breathing and the allergies, guess what? I don't have this new business. That's my point. You follow what I'm saying? That's how you monetize it. So let's finish this with this. How you handle conflict matters. It either opens the door to future possibility or it closes the door to future possibility. It's really that simple. It either opens the door or it closes the door. When you understand the whole person theory, it is important. Don't miss this. How, how, how another person thinks about you, that's the mind. How another person feels about you, that's the heart. How another person believes in you, that's the spirit. After this conflict is over between you and another person, it is very important that you understand this concept. The worst thing you can lose from a person of influence is their support. How you make another person feel either gains their emotional support or loses their emotional support. So here's traditional thinking. I win, therefore you lose. That's scarcity thinking. But here's the problem. I only win the battle. I don't win the war. I lose the war. Win-win is an attitude, not an outcome. That's the goal. We're trying to get a win-win. But there could be a better way. There could be a third way, which is the whole point of this month's coaching session. Third alternative thinking says, I see me and my weakness. I see you and where you're coming from. Let's not compromise because that's a very low form of win-win. Compromise is a very low form of win-win. Okay? Third alternative thinking is we take the best of your idea and we take the best of my idea and we put it together to come up with a whole new idea that is way better than idea one or idea two. So if you get in conflict, here's the model I want you to use. Number one, will you explain your position to me in great detail? Number two, will you allow me to give back your position to your satisfaction? Number three, ask this question, would you be open to listen to my position? Number four, what if we took the best of your idea and the best of my idea and we actually came up with a new idea that is much better than your idea or my idea, that we could both win. You win more, I win more, and the partnership wins more. This is third alternative thinking. That's what I want you to remember. So here's a new model that I'll close with. Number one, conflict is necessary for expansion. How you handle disagreement is vital to your bigger future. The worst thing you can lose from another person is their emotional support. Emotion doesn't come from desire, it comes from conflict. You now have a new model to handle conflict in your life. It's not a dichotomy, either or, it's and, the best of your idea and the best of my idea. This is Monster Producer Podcast. We believe a monster is a legendary creature that combines multiple skill sets to dominate a market. I'm Coach Michael Burt. Thank you for letting me coach you this month. All right, we're here at the Greatness Factory. This is a unique destination location that I have built and created with the help of my wife, Natalie Burt a place of energy, a place of circulation. It's open, it's, it's got huge windows because I believe in manufacturing greatness. I believe you can take people from all walks of life, all socioeconomic backgrounds, and if you put them in the right system with the right coaching at the right place, they're gonna produce at a higher frequency. 
They're going to perform at an all new level. Those that have a coach out earn those that don't three to one. Trained people always outperform untrained people. So come to the Greatness Factory. Check out the energy, sit in on a class, get involved in Monster Producer, come to a one day intensive. But know this, trained people at the Greatness Factory will always outperform untrained people in a static state.